YouTube. How you doing? This is Puck. After making the review about the Huawei phones in the media market, I that same afternoon found uh, yeah a P8 Lite uh, from some lady, and in fact the screen is a little bit cracked, but of course it was not about that. It was about to learn about this phone. I really loved uh, the phones that I saw in the media market and I loved the uh, privacy guard in the phone. So um, I was also looking for that in the, P, uh, the P8 in the media market but I could not find it. So let me show you my, my uh, P8 Lite. This is it. This is the home screen. You all know that I set my home screen like this. I'm using uh, my own launcher. And I pimped it a little bit around, as you can see, it uh, is kind of iPhone styled. And what I love about this ROM is the settings part. It's really colorful. It looks really nice. It gives the illusion of uh, even more of a of an iOS device. Um, and because it also feels really good, it feels kind of stable. It's not, uh, yeah, what can I say? It, it's also not light it feels feels really nice yeah that also gives it a kind of exclusive feeling okay um, the screen is very bright it's it's very nice and I find that uh, this system yeah is running very stable since I got it up and running I did not root it yet although um, I did install some goodies onto it to make it look beautiful. I think I also had the eye control. Let me see if it's on. It should be on. So I have a little problem here with my eye control. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah. It's a little bit laggy because I'm recording, so that you can see it's not so. Yeah, this thing has uh, eight cores also. I saw, so that was uh, very nice to see. Let's go into the settings part. Here it is, all the way down. And here you can see the build number, IME number, resolution 720 by 1280, so it's HD, 8 gigab 16 gigabytes in total, so that's kind of cool, no? 16 gigabytes, just think of it, wow. So this phone, I'm kind of using it uh, to film and as navigation. I'm not really using it as a phone. I love the way you must put uh, the SIM card and the micro SD card at the side. Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the settings. Let's go uh, to the developers options. Here we, go. we can turn on USB debugging if we're gonna do some ADB uh, stuff. If we're gonna root this phone and or install Twerp and then root it. I think it looks really nice. So I think that I will not uh, immediately go ahead <coughs> and install some ROM on this thing. I'm going to try to keep this ROM because I love this ROM. Even though it's only Android 6. <coughs> so it's, it's kind of good. I'm not using this. The Huawei ID. Um, updater. There are no updates anymore.
I think there are no updates. No updates, as you can see. But still, this thing is on Android 6. That's kind of cool. And by the way, um, you guys on uh, on other other models of the Huawei, if you go to apps and you go to advanced, then up here you have the app permissions. You see that? And I find these ones most important. And let me see. So let's take a look at the wallpaper app. It's loading. And here you'll find some nice wallpapers. These are nature wallpapers, so you will find mostly nature wallpapers. I took this one. Wow, this one is also nice, no? Let's go for this one. Let's get this wallpaper. Oh no, I, I want this one. This is what I want. This is my red, gold and green, you know? Wow, look at that. Mm. Nice phone. Well, um, to tell you the honest truth, uh, this phone was very cheap. And I don't know, some people, they, they got the Hawaii and in some way they don't really like it. I don't know why. Maybe because of the launcher or so. I don't know, but uh, if you change it around a little bit, if I'm gonna find out how to how to flash this thing and to find a nice ROM, then of course this phone will come into the collections of uh, of the Puck mod. Then I'm also gonna flash the Puck mod to this thing, and then we should have a nice phone. The cam, the cam is also nice. It's almost like iPhone. See it? Beep. I look tired. And here you can turn the cam. Quality is pretty good. Let's make a picture. You see it's also sliding. Nice zoom. Zoom it here. Look at that man. Wow, look at that. Amazing. So the cam is pretty good for the 720p. At least I'm not even sure what the quality of the cam is. Let me see if I can find that. Mm. Where do we do that? PCR panorama. Watermark. Oh, you can put the watermark. Let's first go to settings. Oops, that was my screen recorder. Sorry for that. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, nice, man. Wow. Nice cam, man. You can make it beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, you can make the perfect uh, picture. Make it nice. This is, uh, I think, timestamp, or how do you call it? Every se every second or two socket seconds, it makes a picture. Tights for loop. Let's see how that works.
Let's see what it is. Ah, okay. I'll go away. Scherm overlay, wat zei ik die nou? Maar ja, uh, never mind peeps. But that is how it works. I'm not creating these videos anyhow. But in my pictures, uh, somewhere here, your your pin should be. Camera videos. Oh yeah, let me check this piece of video. I need it to go. Yes. Always nonsense. Should I do I miss that advanced settings. Daytime memory and storage safety call the phone Unknown sources. Trusted uh, uh, referentials, or how you say that in English? Apps with gebruikers to gaan. What is this? No. Sure. Nice phone. I like it. Hmm. Flashlight. Most of the apps I removed or I disabled them. A mirror. Hello. I'm gonna close some apps. the recording of course this is a wallpaper app I think it has nice wallpapers so I, I got it this, these are offline wallpapers the package is 32 megabytes so yeah it's not so small but uh, if you also have enough space you can install it uh, hey it's called uh, it's called kind of tired okay in fact it was really easy uh, because I, I kind of 
um, set up uh, the system to to be kind of safe, safer. Then in here you must make sure that the overlay is. Always above other apps. Let me go to here and then videos. Yes, make sure this is set to yes. Okay, so now the videos will play. Now you can go to your gallery again. Da, 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 da. And now you can just hit play. So that was my screen recorder. Sorry for that. See that? Now everything will play. So let's take a look at the wallpaper app. Loading and here you will find some nice wallpapers. So that works. Um, overall, I can say this is a very, very, very nice um, um, phone. It's very easy to theme to kind of iOS. All the tools you will find in the Play Store completely free. Um, also, the launcher is powered by iLauncher. Uh, not all items were uh, were changed. For instance, this one here, this icon. Let me try to double tap it for you. Hold on. So it's closed, so if we're gonna hold it and we double tap it on set icon, you will see that it's Google Chrome. So I just changed the icon into the one of Safari. That is the power of this of this launcher. You see? So we can say hey, I want this. is in front of the different button. I will have to stop the recording to, to change the icon but uh, that is how it works um, you see it's changed so that means this is a fine phone um, I'm not sure about the VoIP possibilities if you can use this phone as a VoIP phone so let's take a look at that menu settings Well, I don't see no uh, no internet calling. So this thing has no internet calling. So that is, uh, in fact. means peeps that this phone is even safer than the normal phones that you find in, in, in the Android phones because there is no VoIP built in to this to, this is not a VoIP phone this is a real dialer and it only uses the phone app and the phone app is not having a uh, a way to connect uh, via internet calling there is no internet calling in here at least I cannot find it maybe I'm doing something wrong if I'm doing that you must let me know but I don't see no internet calling and that means that this phone is not a VoIP phone 
you know these other phones they also have a VoIP built in meaning that these phones can deal without a provider I mean like without a, a phone provider you can insert your, your internet account so in fact it's just an internet phone and we all know internet phones Tja. if there is some other other door in the app that that can connect to the internet then that door can also be used via the internet when you are placing a normal call so this this phone app of Huawei um, because it has no internet calling I think it's a safer a, I think personally that it's then because of that a safer app to use to place phone calls you know you won't be uh, listened to via the internet let me see something um, let me go to my firewall and see what the phone effect is doing let me see where my firewall is I don't even see it um, Probably change the icon around and now I cannot find it. Hold on. Speaker, backup, compass, downloads. Root browser. Hey, where's my firewall? Of course, you have no firewall, you stupid. This is not a rooted phone. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so very confused with my other phones. I, died. I must first root this thing and then we can see but I think in apps we should also be able to see let's go back to apps apps up here we should also find the phone and if not then the phone is not an app it's an app but not just the app you see, it's not in this list. Telephone barrier, memory, battery data gebruik. Okay, but that is not a phone. That is not a dialer. You see, the dialer is not in here. At least I didn't see it. Let's look again. You see, I turned all these apps off. I'm not using them. And battery life improved tremendous this thing is four days before I have to connect it to the uh, to the charger four days it will since I I got it today was the first time that I charged it this morning it was empty because I was listening to, to something and the battery was already and uh, the battery was already low so it just uh, when I fell asleep uh, it just died so this morning I charged it, it also charged really fast and it was about at 90% was not finishing charging yet but I thought let me finish this video so we still have uh, a little video here on, on, on channel 48 with the Huawei phone um, I want to say thumbs up to all the apps that uh, I represented in here such as iLauncher from Netsuka and of course uh, yeah, the icon makers that we found at Google. Thumbs up for all you guys there that uh, worked on icons. Um, they look nice. Also, thumbs up to Apple, you know, for the look and feels and the fantastic way of uh, launching apps and home screen. 
Uh, for the rest, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have so much more to say. Go check it out. The Huawei P8 Lite, very nice phone, a very easy to team to a very close looking iOS device if you also love iOS devices. And if not, you can use the touch with of a launcher of these guys of just get any other launcher from the App Store and enjoy your Huawei phone. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and love to see you in the next one.